me peace. So, <laughs> tomorrow I'm going on vacation. And um, as I'm sitting here, I feel I'm filming. I'm in the process of filming and editing and whatever a, um, a foundation review. And so, testing. I have this foundation on because I'm testing it for long wear. And so, I finished filming like the first part of the video and then I was going to go pack as I, you know, I have to go on a plane tomorrow. So I needed to pack. And I'm like, wait. I feel like I used to have a what's in my travel makeup bag um, and I it, it's an old video and so um, I decided to refilm what's in my travel makeup bag because I was packing my travel makeup bag and um, I thought hey why not as to where I am in the moment um, I hopefully will have either Instagram to picture when I get there um, I am gonna leave it as a surprise <laughs> uh, just cuz it's fun that way and so I will definitely fingers crossed knock on wood there's a wood frame over here uh, be able to vlog I am taking uh, my camera with me so I do want to vlog I will try to post some pictures on Instagram um, I just don't know how the internet connection is gonna be but um, I've just really loved vlogging as much as like for for me my friends and my family it's nice to have that sort of memento but you guys have always been really sweet and so I, we're planning it's gonna be really really warm where we're going and so we're gonna plan to do a lot of shopping and eating and oh so much makeup shopping so of course vlogging has to happen. Anyways, uh, what was that rambling to tell you? That, yeah, when you see this, I probably won't have left yet because I leave Monday night, but anyways, let's let's talk about what's in this bag. First and foremost, um, I got this, it's a Marc Jacobs, um, I don't know if it has like an actual name, but uh, it's like they're, the, I don't know, it's super adorable, and it's print, and it's neon, and then it has the writing inside, um, so I just really love it. I got it at Nordstrom like a year and a half ago, so I don't know if there's a link. If I can find a link, I'll put it down below, but um, I just really love it. It's just nice and practical and big enough without being too bulky. And I tend to leave just a little bit of room, maybe a lot of room in here, so that if I buy makeup on way, my way home, there's somewhere for me to put it, um, because I usually just travel with carry-on as much as possible. Anyways, that was a long ramble of an intro, as is common when we are excited and in a good mood. I filmed some videos yesterday, and I was just totally down, so this happy, perky, it's this makeup, I'm telling you. It's making me very happy. Um, yeah, anything else I want to tell you? I'm just going to jump into it. Um, yeah, I'm just going to jump into it. So, the first thing in this bag is my little mirror. I have a little um, mirror that I like to take with me. It's it's double, so if I can open it. No, I'm just going to flip it up and down. Um, it's double-sided, so it's got the like magnifying end on one end and then the normal side on the other end And it just props and sits like this which is really nice just because usually when I travel I'm traveling with friends and bathroom space is important. So if I can sit outside um, The bathroom and do my makeup. That's awesome And I find that this is perfect for that and it has its own travel case, so it's not gonna scratch So it's just awesome. Um, let's do it like in terms of how I would do my makeup. So the first thing, like I said, it's going to be really warm, so I am not going to take a full-on foundation. I will melt. Um, I'm doing sunscreen and concealer. And so this concealer, which is the Conceal RX from Physicians Formula, um, I do want to still film a review for you guys, so fingers crossed I can get that soon because I put this in my fortnightly favorites, which I'll link down below. I love this guy. It covers up imperfections like a dream. Um, and I've actually found that it blends really well even with my fingers, and so I'm not taking any brushes with me crazy right so I need something that would blend with my fingers and um, this is what I am going with uh, yeah okay <laughs> and then next for blush um, I'm gonna take this cream blush from uh, Dior I bought it last year I think it was part of um, a collection of theirs anyways it's a number 851 Capri I don't know if this was a uh, limited edition or not but any cream blush I just like this one because it's um, pink and pretty and it just goes with everything, it doesn't really have much of a smell. I don't know why. I smell everything. Anyways, it's just, it's easy to use. I can blot it on with my fingers, and it's a nice, um, light enough color that I'm not going to need to, like, be sitting there blending off the rest of my concealer or whatever for too long. So, cream blush is next. Uh, moving on to eyes. I'm definitely taking my Anastasia Brow Wiz in Ebony. Um, my brows, when they're freshly groomed, I find that I only usually just tend to brush through them. Um, but I like having the, and so, so what I mean freshly groomed, like the first two weeks after I get them, um, uh, I get them done at a place. <laughs> I've talked about this, I think, before, but 
Um, the first weeks I really don't do much, so I haven't really been filling them in. But I do still like having the option of filling them in if I want. So this guy has a little uh, spoolie on one end and then, or brush, um, and then the, the product on the other end. So I love this guy and it's coming with me. The next thing coming with me is, like I said, I don't really take brushes with me when I travel. I just, I'm a clean freak and I can't clean them like I want when I'm on vacation. So I'm taking um, some uh, chubby stick my bobbers. So I'm taking this NARS, uh, what do you call it, soft touch shadow pencil in Arachli, and this was part of their, um, if I can open it, the adult swim collection. I, I showed it to you guys, but it's this like uh, rose goldy pinky color. Um, I don't know if you're going to be able to see the swatch. But it's that color right there. I, I'll link the haul um, where I got this down below. Um, for some better swatches but yeah it's just this one I would wear sort of on its own as like an all-over lid color and then these ones um, from Clinique so I have ample amber mighty moss is it? no whooping willow and then this one which all the writing is gone off of but I think it's just a beige one so should be some swatches okay so whooping willow is on the end right here and then the beige uh, ample amber and then that Araclean from NARS but yeah, I love them. They're easy to wear. They they last all day. They they don't smudge, and they give a soft enough look that like you're not needing to blend a lot because it's it's nice and soft and just gives a little pop of color on the eyes. Um, in terms of mascara, I am taking two. I'm gonna take my Benefit They're Real uh, for my top lashes, which is on my what it's also what is on. Why are we yellow? I don't know. I tried to like give it a dirty look hoping that it would stop being yellow, but no. Anyway, so they're they're real for my top lashes lashes and then my MAC extended play lash for my bottom lashes. But yeah, I just I've I've been that girl. I've been really enjoying uh two different mascaras. Um I'm not I haven't been wearing a whole ton of eyeliner, but uh just to give myself some options, I'm taking uh this Stila waterproof smudge stick something or other in Lionfish. It's a brown color. I have a whole video with swatches on my whole collection of these guys that I can link down below if you're interested. But I really like this because you can put it in your waterline. You can use it as a, like a, a liner, um, even as a cream shadow sometimes. It's a little more intense for that, especially with a color like this, but it can be used for all those purposes. So this guy is definitely coming for me. Coming for me. Coming with me. <laughs> and then the hardest part always is, is um, figuring out what I want for a lipstick. And so... Um, no? Yeah, so the hardest part for me is definitely um, picking what I want to take in terms of lipstick. And so I tried to limit myself by reminding myself that we're going to be out and about. I'm not necessarily going to be touching up. So I opted for uh, long-wearing liquid lipsticks. So I'm taking these two by Hourglass in Icon and Ballet. Um, I also have a video on these that I'll link down below, so I'm not doing swatches for ages here. But these guys are fantastic. They don't budge. I highly recommend them if you're looking for, um, especially like in a red, because if you're wearing, like you have a dinner or a play or something, where you are going to be out and about, you might be having dinner or whatever, this guy does not budge. Um, I wore him to like a dinner theater the other day, or not the other day, when I first got him, and it's fantastic for that, and this color is just phenomenal. Um, and then in case I want to go vampy and crazy, <laughs> there's uh, Salem by, I don't know why I confuse Salem and Wicked, I always think the brown one is Wicked. Anyways, Salem by Lime Crime. Um, and then if I sort of want to go the more nudie route, these are not long wearing, but because they're nudes, if they wear off a little, it's not going to look as weird. Um, so I'm taking my Color Bomb by Revlon and Sultry, and then my very well-loved um, Nice and Spicy Pencil by MAC. And yeah, that's what I'm taking with me on uh, vacation. Hopefully, like I said, I'll post as many pictures as I can and definitely try to film that vlog so I can have it up when I'm back. Um, I am very, very happy to be going, and yeah, it'll it'll just be a fun break. So, I still think we're orange, and I'm not quite sure why, but such is life today. We have to get this video up, because I'm leaving. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, that's all I have to say. Let's do points of positivity. My first is definitely the fact that I get to go on this trip. Um, it's always such a, such a privilege and a luxury and a blessing to get to go away, especially with sweet friends and all that kind of fun stuff. So, I am so excited to be off and at them. Um, my second is days like today where makeup can completely change your uh, like mood around because that's exactly what it's done and it's making me very happy. That is definitely my second point of positivity. And then my third point of positivity is ice cream. 
had some ice cream yesterday and it was really warm and it just made me very happy. I want to send you guys tons of love. Um, thank you for always being here and being so sweet and supportive. I hope that you've had a chance to go away this summer or you will be going away this summer or you have some fun vacations planned um, here shortly. Um, and yeah, that is it for me. But I cannot leave you without reminding you that life is just too short to wear boring lipstick. Bye, guys.